Good morning and welcome to my weekly podcast. So last uh, week I talked about uh, thyroid and the function of the thyroid, how important it is for the entire body. Um, one thing that is essential for the thyroid to function properly is the proper amount of iodine. Iodine is a mineral and we have needs for iodine everywhere, not only in the thyroid but also in our breast and ovaries and liver and salivary gland, hormones, the cerebrospinal fluid, the salivary gland, etc. We also need iodine in the substantia nigra. It's the black area of the brain. Substantia nigra is the place where people are lacking dopamine production, which leads to Parkinson. So iodine is an essential mineral. It's a mineral that is not really uh, looked at. Um, there is, at least from the medical profession, not much interest in iodine. And the daily recommended values are very, very low. So when we test people for iodine, most of them are deficient. And they're deficient because, um, one, it's not an added mineral like many others. You know, calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium are very common in mineral complex supplements, but iodine is not. So a lot of people are deficient. And the problem is that iodine is essential to the proper function of the body. First of all, it's an antimicrobial. It's antibacterial antiviral, antiparasitic. It's also anti-cancerous and anti-cyst, cyst, sorry. The cyst that some women have in their breast or the cyst of the ovaries quite often are due to a lack of iodine. Why cancer? Because in cancer cells, the mechanism of cell reproduction is disturbed. And this disturbance means that a lot of the minerals are not in sufficient quantity in the cells. So anybody who has cancer, suffered cancers, or is in a family where cancer is very prevalent, should actually take iodine as a preventive. And then as far as antimicrobial, well, iodine was used and still is used in this country, in France, um, when you go for a surgery, they ask you to wash your body with a solution in the shower, which the main ingredient is iodine. So iodine was used by surgeon before they would cut, open cut uh, the flesh to do their surgery. They would just paint iodine all over the area as an antiseptic. You can still use it as an antiseptic. Actually, I recommend that people paint a little bit of a square or a round or whatever, like um, a dollar size or a quarter size, on the skin, on the body, every day, until the um, iodine disappears. So you paint a little piece and then you let it disappear, dissolve by the body. The body is going to absorb it at the rate that it needs. It's a good way of uh, absorbing your iodine and not getting toxic. You don't risk toxicity when you put it through the skin like that. The lack of iodine during pregnancy is absolutely disastrous. It can lead to mental retardation. It can lead to infertility also. I believe that a lot of Nowadays, infertilities are due to thyroid dysfunction and a lack of iodine. Lack of iodine will lead also to goiters because it's so involved in the um, thyroid function. But um, someone that has a goiter needs to be careful and need to know if they have Hashimoto or if they could have uh, Graves disease. In the case of Hashimoto or Graves' disease, autoimmune diseases, you want to be careful with iodine because if you increase the number of T-cells, when we're talking T3 and T4, 
which are the hormones that are secreted by the thyroid. It means T for thyroxine and 3 for 3 molecules of iodine, or 4 for 4 molecules of iodine. So if you increase your iodine and you have an autoimmune disease, you're increasing your T4 and your T3, <clears throat> and you have the risk of creating more destruction on your gland. It doesn't mean you should not use it, but you have to know exactly what you're doing, meaning working with a practitioner that is very aware of iodine um, usage and how to monitor it. So bottom line, if you have an autoimmune condition on your thyroid, don't use iodine. If you're sure that you don't have an autoimmune condition on your thyroid, you can use iodine, and the best way to use it is through your skin. Then you can also take it internally. For that, I recommend Lugo solution. Lugo, Dr. Lugo, is um, a mixture of uh, two ingredient, two components of iodine. And you can take one drop a day or two drops a day. Actually, Dr. Gerson, Max Gerson, who put together the Gerson therapy to heal cancer, and fight against cancer, recommend, recommended in his protocol to take iodine internally. So I know and I'm convinced that iodine has anti-cancer properties. Where do you find iodine? Well, you can find it in the ocean. So every product, product that comes from the ocean, like fish and shellfish and algae, will contain iodine. You can sprinkle algae on your food. You can take algae supplements. You could take chlorella or spirulina. Um, why are we so deficient? Why is the modern population so deficient in iodine? Well, the first reason is that we're lacking minerals everywhere. In the soil, in the water, um, we have soils that are totally depleted in minerals because we have used so much pesticides, fungicides, insecticides. So that's the first reason. And then the second major reason <clears throat> is the usage of chlorine, fluoride, and bromine. Those three minerals have been um, used heavily since the 1960s. Before the 60s, we were using iodine in a better quantity, for example, as an antiseptic in the water or in the um, pastries or flowers. The pa paste pastry chef were using flowers which were um, containing iodine. And then in the 1960s, this iodine has been replaced with bromide. And bromine is a goitrogen. Iodine is not. And bromine attached itself to the receptor cells of iodine. So it takes place instead of iodine. The chloride, which is put in water, is also taking place instead of iodine. And the fluoride which is used in water and in toothpaste to fight against cavity is also taking place of iodine. The reason those three minerals are taking place instead of iodine is because in the Mendeleev table, which you see on the picture here, iodine is lighter. Molecular weight of iodine is lighter than fluoride, chlorine, and bromide. So the others are heavier and they're pooling, they're displacing iodine out of the tissue. So we have a plethora, an epidemic of iodine deficient people. And then of course we have things like Fukushima, and here we had Chernobyl, which has depleted people's iodine level even more so. So the first thing to do is to buy your little Lugo solution. You're going to buy that on the internet because it's not sold in pharmacies anymore. And you paint your body. And you observe the rate at which your body is going to absorb the iodine. The faster it absorbs it, the more deficient you are. You wait 
until your body has absorbed the stains completely to put iodine again. Where do you put it? Anywhere on your body. You can do the test on your arm, on the inside of your wrist, or if you have cyst in your breast, you can put it directly on the breast. One day on one side, the other day on the other side. If you're prone to cyst on the ovaries, then you should put it on the ovaries. And you can also certainly put it directly on your thyroid. Now, now you need to know this, iodine stains, but it goes away once the, once the skin is absorbed it, once the body has absorbed it. However, it can stain your clothes, so just be careful. Do that at night, be careful that it doesn't um, uh, touch uh, any sheet or nightgown that you are you know, attached to because it can ruin it. But um, it's, it's highly, highly valuable mineral. And uh, as a preventive, I just do it from time to time. I put it anywhere on my body. There's no cancer in my family. There's no cyst, but I just do it. I believe today that if we don't get cancer, we're just plain lucky. We live in a world that is too, too, too polluted. And the body fights every day, every single day, the very best it can. But at some point of weakness or stress or immune deficiencies, then immune system drops and cancer cells spread. So if you want to prevent anything like that to happen for you or your family, just put a little bit of a drop of iodine on your body. Everybody will be grateful. All right. I wish you a wonderful week. Um, and uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for putting a thumbs up if you like my podcast. I appreciate it. And it helps me to be viewed out there in the web world. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.